नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय Shri Shri 
Vishukavacha, Vishukavacha, Teyamuditharaja. Tadvishvarupam, Tadvishvarupam, Vajatha Suvipram, Tadvishvarupam, Vajatha Suvipram, Tapasvinam Vasramatham, Avantam, Tapasvinam Vasramatham, Avantam, Sabhaj, Kiturtan, Sabhidasya Devo, Sabhaj, Kiturtan, Sabhidasya Devo, Yadiksha Mayish, Yadvamutasya Kalma, Yadiksha Yisya Vamutasya Kalma, Tadvishvarupam Vajatha Shuvipram, Tadvishvarupam Vajatha Shuvipram, Tapasvinam Vashtram Atatma Vantam, Tapasvinam Vashtram Atatma Vantam, Sabhajiturtam Savidasya Tevo, Sabhajiturtam Savidasya Tevo, Yadikshan Yash, Yadikshan Vishyadvam Utasya, Yadikshan Vishyadvam Utasya Karma, Yadikshan Vishyadvam Utasya Karma, Tadvishvarupam Vajatha Shuvipram, Tadvishvarupam Vajatha Shuvipram, Tapasvinam Tvashtama Tatma Vantam, Tapasvinam Tvashtama Vantam, Sabhaji Turtan Savidasya Tevo, Sabhaji Turtan Savidasya Tevo, Yadikshamishyadvam Uthasya Karma Yadikshamishyadvam Uthasya Karma Tadvishvarupam Bajata Suvipram Tadvishvarupam Bajata Suvipram Tapasvinam Tvastram Atatma Vantam Tapasvinam Tvastram Atatma Vantam Sabhajito Artham Savidhasya Tevo Sabhajito Artham Savidhasya Tevo Yadikshamishyadvam Uthasya Karma Yadikshamishyadvam Uthasya Karma Tadvishvarupam Vajata Shudhipram Tadvishvarupam Vajata Shudhipram Tapasvinam Tvashtram Atatma Vantam Tapasvinam Tvashtram Atatma Vantam Sabhati Tortham Sadikhasya Tegu Sabhati Tortham Sadikhasya Tegu Tadvishvarupam Vajatha Shuvipram Tadvishvarupam Vajatha Shuvipram Tapasvinam Vashram Atatma Vantam Tapasvinam Vashram Atatma Vantam Sabhaji Tortam Savidhasya Tevo Sabhaji Tortam Savidhasya Tevo Yadi Shamishyadva Mukhasya Karma Yadi Shamishyadva Mukhasya Karma Tadvishvarupam Vajata Shuvipram Tadvishvarupam Vajata Shuvipram Tapasvinam Vashtaram Atatma Vantam Tapasvinam Vashtaram Atatma Vantam Sabhajito Atham Savidasya Tevo Undergoing great austerities and penances. Vashtram, Vashtram, son of Vashtram, the son of Vashtram. Atta, Atta, as well as, as well as, Atma Vantam, Atma Vantam, very independent, very independent. Sadhajitaha, Sadhajitaha, being worshipped, 
Being worshipped. Artan. Artan. Interests. Interests. Saha. Saha. He. 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 Will execute. Will execute. Vaha. Vaha. All of you. All of you. Yadi. Yadi. If. If. Shamishyadvam. Shamishyadvam. You tolerate. You tolerate. Uta. Uta. Indeed. Indeed. Asya. Asya. Yes. Karma, 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 activities, activities, to support the daitas. O demigods, I instruct you to approach Vishwaru, the son of Tvarshka. Yes, sir. O demigods, I instruct you to approach Vishwarupa, the son of Tvarshka, and accept him as your guru. He is pure and very powerful Brahman, and devoid of spirit and tendencies. Please, by your worship, you fulfill your desires, provided that you tolerate his being inclined to the side of the demons. Report. Lord Brahma advised the demigods to accept the son of Vashta as their spiritual master, although he was always inclined toward the benefit of the Asuras. And I, I go forward. Shri Shukha Varcha Tayevam Uditara Gyan Brahmana Vigata Jvaraha Rishim Tvarshta Upadrajya we can also take a word for word. Sri Shukha Varcha. Sri Shukha Varcha. Kadeh Goswami said. Kadeh Goswami said. Te. Te. All the demigods. All the demigods. Yevam. Yevam. Bless. Bless. Uditaha. Uditaha. Being advised. Being advised. Rajan. Rajan. O King Parikshit. O King Parikshit. Ramana. Ramana. I Lord Brahma. Being relieved from the agreement caused by the demons. Rishim, great sage, Vashtram, to the son of Vashta, Upagrajya, going, 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 yes. Sir, I should try and speak more, pronounce more clearly. Parishvajya, embracing, idam, idam, this, this, abravan, abravan, spoke, spoke. And the translation by Srila Prabhupada Gita. Srila Srila Shukadev Goswami continued. Thus advised by Lord Brahma and relieved of their anxiety, all the demigods went to the sage Vishvarupa, the son of Tvarshta. My dear king, they embraced him and spoke as follows. Shri Deva Uchu Vayante Atitaya Prabhta Ashrama Bhadramastate Kama Sampadya Pantata Titrinam Samayochita Shri Deva Uchu Shri Deva Uchu The demigods said The demigods said Vayam Vayam We 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 Your Atitaya Atitaya Guests Guests Shraftaha arrived at Ashravam your abode, Madram, good fortune, your fortune, Asu, let there be, let there be, unto you, unto you, Kamaha, Kamaha, desire, Sampadyatam, Sampadyatam, let it be executed, let it be executed, Tata, oh darling. Pitrinam, Pitrinam, of us, of us, were just like the fathers, were just like the fathers. Samayo chitaha, Samayo chitaha, suitable to the present time, suitable to the present time. The demigods said, "The Lord Vishvaru, may there be all good fortune for you. We, the demigods, have come to your ashram as your guests. Please try to fulfill our desires according to the time, since we are on the level of your parents." Putra nam hi paro dharma, pitri shushru shanam satam, api putra vatam brahman, himuta brahmachari nam, putra nam, putra nam, of sons, he, indeed, paraha, superior, dharma, religious principles, pitri shushru.
The service of the parents. The service of the parents. Satan. Satan. Good. Good. Happy. Happy. Even. Even. Upadratam. Of those who have sons. Of those who have sons. Brahman. Brahman. Of dear Brahman. Oh dear Brahman. Kimuta. Kimuta. What to speak. What to speak. Brahmachari nam. Brahmachari nam. Of Brahmacharis. Of Brahmacharis. Oh Brahmana, the highest son of... O oh, Brahmana, the highest duty of a son, even though he has sons of his own, is to serve his parents. And what to speak of a son who is a brahmachari? Yeah. Maybe we should stop there. Um, so uh, here we have the situation. Uh, that, that actually... Uh, we have to we have to chant also that the, the mantra of the Guru. Let's see. We have to evoke some auspiciousness. Om Vajjana Timirandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Shakshuran Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Gurve Namaha Shri Chaitanya Manovishtam Sabitam Yeda Bhutaye Svayam Rupa Kadavayam Dadati Svapadantikam Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapada Kamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Shcha Shri Rupa Sagrajatam Saradaya Bhutatam Itam Tam Sadivam Sadvetam Sabadutam Vrikana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Saradhanita Shri Vishakam Vitam Shcha E Krishna Karuna Sintu Dina Vandu Yerapate Kopesha Upika Kantaraya Kantana Mustute Tapta Kanchana Gaurangi Radha Vrinda Vadeshvari Vrisha Vadu Sutta Devi Kanamani Hari Priya Vancha Kalpa Dhruga Shcha Vrikha Sintu Geva Cha Padita Nama Adhyo Vaishnam Yivu Namo Nama Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Arvita Radha Shri Vasati Gaudya Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare And then I beg for the blessings of the seven devotees that we May we not do any offenses by speaking from the Bhagavatam. So, so all these uh, mantras that we chant before speaking, they're, they're very good for us. Because, because we need to purify the atmosphere. We need to purify ourselves before we, we can speak on, on the transcendent subject matters. We have to, we have to situate ourselves in the, in the in the, in the atmosphere where, where the blessings of our superiors are uh, invoked. Unless we are getting the blessings of our superiors, we will not be able to speak according to Guru Parampara. And because we, we don't speak according to Guru Parampara, then, then everything we, we say will, um, will not be potent enough to change the hearts of the hearers. The meaning of Krishna Kata is that the speaker should be potent, and the hearer also has to be attentive. The speaker is speaking the potent message of the Bhagavatam uh, in the mood of a, uh, of a postal peon, just a deliverer of the message, without any personal interpretation, by the blessings of his guru. And if the hearer is also having a submissive attitude, of submissive, submissive oral, oral reception, then uh, the change of the heart can take place of the living entity. And it will benefit both the speaker and the hearer. That Krishna will be giving his darshan in that way. And when Krishna gives his darshan, then uh, all the agreements, all the anxieties that may be, be present, they disappear, at least for the time being. 
Szerintem hallgatom, sokkal múlva baja, volt a sorrow, a sadness, múlva, a illusion, a baja, a fear, is disappearing, at least for the time being, when there is proper Krishna Kata. That's why we are advised to have Krishna Kata uh, as much as possible. As the devotees, the pure devotees, they are always having Krishna Kata. Satatam Kirtayantamam, Yatantas Cha, Dridha Vrataha, Namas Chantas Chamam Bhaktya, Nitya Yukta Pasate. Thank you. You know the translation? Uh, always changing my glories, endeavoring with great determination and bowing down before me, these great souls perpetually worship me with devotion. Thank you. So here we have a situation where devotees of Krishna, they have uh, lost their power. Why did the devotees of Krishna lose their power in this story? Yeah. They disrespected their spiritual master. They disrespected their spiritual master. In what kind of way did they disrespect him? Yeah. They failed to offer obeisances when he entered the room. They failed to offer obeisances to the spiritual world. Yes. So, uh, uh, that means that uh, whenever we fail to offer obeisances to our spiritual master, by our uh, body, by our words, and by our mind, Lord Brahma says that uh, Tate on the compound, Sumiksha. He says, we are going through so much, uh, whatever pain one is going through, there is always so much trouble in the material world. Sumiksha Mama. Tate on the compound, Sumiksha Mama. Bunjana Eva Atma Kritam Vipaka. But actually, all the pains we are going through, all the Vipaka, they are coming from Atma Krita. Atma means the self, and Krita means something that is done. When there is this TA in the end of a, of a word, this usually means that something is, is done. So, Atma Krita, we have done something with our, our self. Our self has caused many, many things. We have done many, many actions. Bunjana, we have to tolerate whatever is the reactions of that. So, it said, Bunjana Eva Atma Kritam Vipakam. Of our Atma Krita, of our actions, the result was vipaka, it was disturbance. That means that uh, in that kind of action we did, we did not, we failed to bow down to our spiritual master. Actually there is a saying that um, you should always bend down. Actually whenever somebody is, is actually uh, uh, telling us something that may be unpleasant or, or, or um, is uh, uh, maybe uh, attacking us in any kind of way. Actually, uh, the best advice is actually that we should bend down. Why? This sounds, this sounds maybe um, uh, maybe not so so uh, productive. But actually, it said that Krishna he he makes sure that the devotee doesn't break and he bends down. Because whenever you have something that is very uh, elastic and can bend down, it doesn't break, does it? He just, you know, he bends down, but what happens afterwards? After bend, immediately the shape is up again. You bend something and it... So, so in that way, if we, if we just learn this art of bending down and, and not retaliating whenever we are, we are uh, receiving uh, unfortunate uh, I mean, uh, actions towards ourselves, then actually uh, we will be able to, to, to keep our, our position. We will not break, actually. But on the other side, if one is not bending down, then one is compared to a, a stick. And a stick can very easily be broken by Maya. So that means pride. If, if we're just like a stick and never bending down, then we can easily be broken by Maya. So Krishna, he likes, he likes people who bend down, who, who tolerate the karma. By tolerating the karma, Dhruva Maharaj, he, he did that, it's explained. Uh, uh, that he was tolerating also the good karma by, by enjoying, by, by bo bo boga, by, by actually enjoying, he was getting rid of the results of his good karma and by, by, by uh, accepting suffering, he was getting rid of the results of his bad karma. 
Bugai Punyak Shayam Kurvan Abugai Ashuba Kshayam. So in that way, if we just go through this life, bending down to whatever uh, Krishna is serving us, and as uh, Guru Brahma says, Bunjana Eva Atma Kritam Vipakam, uh, why we do that? Why we tolerate whatever mysteries are in the material world? Then he says that we should uh, uh, simultaneously sing the glories of the whole name with our voice. We should think of the glories of the whole name of, of Krishna with, with our mind and also with our body. We should continue doing devotional activities. namaste. Uh, and in that way, namaste always bowing down. In other words, namaste means you know I give my obeisances. It can also mean I am just saying the obeisances. But you know, in spiritual life, everything is is you know absolute. So if I bow down with my speaking, then spiritually I am bowing down with my body. This this is called the absolute platform. Whatever happens with this gross body is not actually so interesting. It's actually not at all interesting because what happens with the gross body is an illusory representation by the, the, the mayic energy consisting of three modes of material nature. The three modes of material nature is goodness, passion and ignorance. And by the three modes of material nature actually all the 24 elements of the material world are produced. Earth, water, fire, air and ether. They're produced from all the ignorance. And also the sense objects which are connected to earth, water, fire, air, and ether, which is sound, taste, touch, smell, form, and uh, yeah, I think we mentioned them. Yeah. So, so in that way, that's from the world of ignorance, from the world of passion, the senses of the living entity is produced, and then uh, from uh, the world of goodness is produced the mind. Actually, the intelligence is also produced from the mode of passion. It starts actually with the production in the mode of goodness. First, the mind is produced from mode of goodness. Then the intelligence and the senses are produced from mode of ignorance. And then finally, the sense objects and the most material elements, earth, water, fire, air, and ether. So in that way, it's all actually expanded just from the three modes of material nature. Now, how can we actually say that the three modes of material nature is a very tangible reality for us? It's just like a concept, right? Three modes of material nature, but where is the tangibility in that? Can you touch the three modes of material nature like this? Mm. It's actually just like a concept. So, it's, so on this level we have to go with our intelligence to actually understand this is just actually a concept. And the concept starts with our false ego. Going away from Krishna we enter into that kind of concept of being under the, the spell of these modes. So in that way, it's not actually very, very important what goes on there in the material world. So, uh, by, by having, having higher knowledge, we, we don't need to be so obsessed with the present state of affairs. And higher knowledge we are getting from Lord Brahma. Now, Lord Brahma is always saying, keep, keep on having a guru. Now, we... we we see that they, they lost their spiritual master Brihaspati. But then they are they are getting they have to they have to have a, a, a guru. So it means also that, that if we somehow or other we, we leave our guru, we, we need to find another guru. If we don't find another spiritual master, then who would be our master? Yeah. The mind. The mind. And is the mind a, a, a very good master?